Hey everybody, welcome to my plant-based kitchen. Can't wait for you guys to come inside. Let's get busy. Hey guys, welcome back to Kimberly's Plant-Based Kitchen. Today we are doing Taco Tuesday, my favorite day of the week. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good taco. Today we're gonna do a taco salad and we're also gonna do some black bean tacos. So we're gonna make this really delicious walnut meat and then we're gonna make some black beans to go inside a corn tortilla. And we're also going to be doing a mango margarita. No alcohol, sorry guys, but it's still gonna be really good. And if you're at home, you can always add tequila if you like. So let's get started. We are gonna start with our taco salad. I have these handy dandy, cute little tortillas um, pan set. So we're gonna bake these. We're not gonna fry them, we're gonna bake them. We're gonna put them in these little molds, which are so adorable, so cute, right? We're gonna put these and we are going to, let's talk a little bit about our tortillas we're gonna use today. Um, if you're trying to stay away from gluten, we have a tortilla for you. And then we also have a spelt flour tortilla, which is really good. It's made from spelt flour. That one is my favorite. That's what we're gonna use today. So let's put our spelt flour tortilla. It just works a lot better and it fits the pan like perfect. So we're gonna use the spelt flour, but I have used, this is um, the siete, I believe it's called, um, chicken, chickpea, excuse me, flour tortilla. They have flour, they have almond, but these are gluten-free, grain-free if you can't do any grains. So they're really good for that, but they're just a little bit smaller. So they do fit into this, but it's gonna be kind of tiny, so. <laughs> You'll still get your taco shell for your um, taco salad, but it's just a little bit smaller. So those are definitely good if you're trying to, you know, do paleo or just stay away from grains, which a lot of people nowadays are trying to do, including myself as much as possible. But we're gonna do these, because these are my favorite. So we're gonna do the spilt flour. We're gonna put those in there. And then we're gonna put these in the oven on 400 degrees for like about seven to eight minutes. Don't let them burn, because they cook pretty fast. So let's pop these in really quick. Get these in here and going. And they go right in. If you wanna put them on a cookie sheet, you can, but you can just pop those in there like that. And while those are going, we're gonna get started on our walnut meat because for our beans, we're just gonna use some leftover black beans that I had already that I cooked earlier this week. So we just got us some leftover black beans. You can do this with any beans that you have at home. So pinto beans, um, red beans, you can even do them with lentils, um, makes a really good filling for your taco. You could add mushrooms to it to make it a little more meatier if you like. So what we're gonna do, oh, let me put that back in there. I don't know why I'm taking that out. But we're gonna add our walnuts to this. Let me grab our walnuts. And we're gonna do a walnut taco meat. It's really good. Um, this is like a, a raw um, taco salad. So everything is gonna be not cooked, but you're gonna really think this is like some real walnut meat, which is the best part. So we're gonna use walnuts. We're going to use um, these sun-dried tomatoes. Let's put these in first. We're gonna put our sun-dried tomatoes and our spices in first. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a double recipe for this. Usually it calls for a half a cup of the sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna do a full cup. And you guys will have all these instructions. And we're gonna do the oil too. I like these, these are from Trader Joe's. They come, they have a little oil in them, little olive oil and some seasonings, but these are like my favorite sun-dried tomatoes. They're amazing on salads. Um, you can use them on pasta, yum. And definitely for this walnut meat, we're gonna put all that oil in there cause we're gonna need it to keep the walnuts and everything nice and moist. All right guys, now we got our sun-dried tomatoes in here. We are going to add our spices. We are gonna use our Mexican blend today from Natural Intentions. It is um, a really, really amazing. It has some granulated garlic, oregano, minced onion, a little cumin, chili powder. 
So we're gonna use this today to add all that delicious, smoky, spicy, um, salty flavor. And we're gonna do two, let's see, we're gonna do one heaping tablespoon of this. Yes. And mmm, smells really good. Fragrant. And then we're also gonna add a little cayenne and I'm gonna add a little more garlic powder. There was some garlic powder in that blend, but we're gonna add a little bit more just to make sure. And this will be in your recipe, so don't worry about the measurements, but that's probably like about one teaspoon. And then cayenne is gonna to be to taste. So I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna sprinkle and then we'll check it at the end. If we want a little more heat, you can always add more. And we'll add a little sea salt to this. And then we'll also check that at the end and make sure that it's salty enough. So we are gonna blend all this together. Actually, let's add just a touch of oil just to make sure. And this is gonna be like about a teaspoon. This is avocado oil, of course. You can use olive oil if you like because you're not cooking it, so you don't have to worry about that. And we're gonna put this on high to let everything just blend in together. Okay, let's just check that. That one more little blend. All right, that looks like that's gonna be good. And now we're just gonna, this is so simple, you guys. This is like a no brainer here. We're gonna add our walnuts now. Just let that get messy, that's fine. We'll clean off that. And we're gonna do a cup of walnuts, okay? And if you like, you could use a different type of nut like pecans, but walnuts are gonna be the healthiest nut that you can get out here. So I would suggest using the walnuts and it, they taste super amazing with it. Just add a little bit more. Okay, and then you're gonna just blend all this together. How simple is that? You cannot get any more simple than that. This is a meal that you can put together in like 20 minutes. And you want this to kind of be rough. You don't want this to be completely ground. You want it to still have some texture to it. Let me check on our, yep, they're ready. Right on time. Okay, so we're gonna grab these out. And we're gonna put these over here and let these cool off for a minute. But these came out perfect. Nice and crispy. Perfect little cup for your taco salad. So we'll let those cool. And let's do this, just a couple more pulses. And that's like perfect. Still has some texture to it. We'll put this in the sink. Okay, still has a nice texture. And then now we're just gonna taste this just to make sure that the seasoning and the flavor is there. Let's grab us a fork here. And just see how this tastes. See if we need a little something else. Mmm, good. We're gonna add a little more cayenne just to give it a little heat. And we're gonna add a little more sea salt. But that Mexican blend is like perfect. Has everything in it that you would need. Like if you were doing ground turkey or ground beef. Has a cumin, it has the minced onions, everything that you would need. So let's put our top back on here. Or you know what, actually we can just stir this up now because we don't want it to blend up anymore. So we'll just stir that in there. Make sure that gets all around. And then we're gonna make sure that our salad greens are ready. I'm gonna use some arugula and we're gonna use some spinach. So this would be, you know, whatever your liking is. You can use romaine, you can use collard even if you wanted to. Um, so just, you know, mix your greens together, wash them really well. 
These don't really need to be cut at all, especially not the arugula. So we're gonna place our greens in first. Get that in our little cup here. And they're just so cute. This is like the perfect little cup for a taco salad. And if you're feeling like you're missing out because you're trying to cut back on the meat or you're not eating meat at all, this is really gonna make you feel satisfied. Like you're gonna feel like you really got to participate in Taco Tuesday. And um, it was delicious. So we're just gonna pal this up. Don't be stingy with the greens. Put them in there because you wanna get full. You don't wanna still be hungry. So really pal it in. And then if you're putting this in another bowl, you could even pal some greens around it if you wanted to, just to make sure that your salad is gonna be nice and hearty. Remember when you're eating plant-based, especially if you're eating lots of raw veggies and stuff, pal it up. You don't have to be, it's not like you're eating, you know, a burger or turkey or you're eating raw vegetables. So you're gonna need a lot to really get full. So now we're gonna take this delicious walnut meat, yum. And you see it has like that texture, like actual meat, like it really looks like meat. So that's what I liked about it when I first made it was that it actually kind of fooled me and made me feel like I was actually getting some ground turkey. So we're just gonna pal that right in the middle. Look how pretty that looks. You know how I feel about my food looking pretty. And this is looking bomb. So a nice spoonful, don't be stingy again. You wanna make sure that you're getting nice and full. This is a great little Taco Tuesday party. Um, salad that you could put together for a bunch of friends if they come over. You guys are watching the game or something. Having your taco Tuesday with your taco salad. Plus we're gonna do those black bean tacos. And just rinse my hands. And now we're just gonna add all our toppings to this. And then, you know, this is where you can just kind of get creative. You can get kind of crazy, add all the delicious things that you like, all the different types of veggies and stuff that you like. So we're gonna do um, tomatoes. We have some nice summer tomatoes here. We have some heirloom tomatoes. We have some nice yellow and red tomatoes. So don't be shy with it. We're just gonna slice these in half just so they fit nicely onto our salad. And we're just gonna place them like so. And again, make them look pretty. There's no reason why your food shouldn't be aesthetically pleasing because that's how I look at my food first is, what does it look like? Especially if it's something new for me that I'm eating and I'm trying, it better be looking delectable and delicious. So that looks nice. We got those tomatoes right there. If you like olives, you can add some of these black Kalamata olives. I love olives. They'll give it that nice salty kind of balanced out flavor. They'll be great with the greens. So add you some olives in there, make it cute. And then what else do we have? Some red onion, of course. Can't have Taco Tuesday without a little onion. So we're going to add a little onion to this. Let's chop up this onion here. This is gonna be so delicious. So yeah, you guys don't have to miss out on anything when you're trying to eat more plant-based or you're going vegan um, you can still have all the deliciousness of the foods that you're used to and that you're familiar with. You're just going to change it up a little bit and you're going to make it a little bit healthier, which is going to be good because you're going to wake up the next day without your belly bubbling <laughs> because you haven't had a bunch of junk. You've had something good to eat for your taco Tuesday. And we can't say the, you know, that for your rest of your friends, but you're gonna feel good and you're gonna have something delicious. Okay, the onions are on there. Now we're gonna add a little bit of watermelon radish, which is really, really good. It doesn't have like a strong radish flavor, but it actually really just looks pretty, but it actually has a nice flavor too. And we're gonna cut it like little watermelon pieces. That's why they call it watermelon radish, because it kind of looks like a watermelon, a slice of watermelon. Cute, right? So we're gonna put those on there. And put that right there. Let's put some on this one over here. 
So yeah, this is the perfect time to try out different veggies that you haven't had before. These are the perfect types of dishes where you can really pal the veggies on and really get some extra flavor. You could put red peppers on here, green onions. We're gonna put some cilantro or my handy dandy kitchen shears. You know, what is Taco Tuesday without a little cilantro? Put that on there. Okay. And then we're also going to add, what else do we have? Cheese, can't forget the cheese. So we have our little vegan cheese here, plant-based, soy-free, a little cheese. That looks delicious, right? And just for a little more color, we're gonna add a little bit of red pepper. Cause like I said, I like for the colors to really pop. So we're just gonna add a little bit of this red pepper. We'll just take this top and slice it up a little bit. And we'll add this to it and give it a little pop of color and an extra flavor. Okay, we'll add those right up here. Now tell me that doesn't look bomb.com. Slice this up for the other one. So you guys get creative. Don't make this boring. Really do up your Taco Tuesday. We have a fantastic sauce that we're gonna make with this. So good. It's a mango habanero salsa. So amazing. Okay, so these are our Taco Tuesday taco salads. Amazing. Okay, so let me make the sauce that we're gonna make with this and we'll put these to the side over here. And then we're gonna make our tacos. So we're gonna put this on our little platter. The shells are so nice and crispy. So we're just gonna put this here. Come on, what kind of nice presentation is this for your Taco Tuesday? Doesn't get any better than that. Okay guys, let's put this salsa together. And it's really more of a um, actual sauce than a salsa because we're going to blend it all the way down but it is yummy so we're going to use this delicious mango here and it's really easy to peel a mango if you haven't before i just cut the bottom and the top off so it's not all wobbly on my cutting board and you're just going to slice the skin right off try not to cut too much of your mango but it's super simple. This mango smells really good. I don't know about you guys, but I love mango. It's one of my favorite fruits. So we'll just cut that up. And we're gonna toss this and get this out of our way. But yeah, so this is like a, a different type of sauce to have for your taco salad. So when you're doing plant-based, why not try some different dressings and sauces and um, different sauces to go on to your different meals. Get creative with it so you don't get bored. So I, I don't know why for some reason when we're just eating regular food, I don't know, I can eat like tacos every week, but like with plant-based food, I always hear people talking about, I'm bored, I need something new. But like regular food, it's like you can eat the same thing every week. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> for me, <laughs> I can do that. But now I know so many different plant-based recipes, I don't get bored too often. And I, a lot of times I stick with the same thing too because it's easy. So we're just gonna chop this up because we're gonna cook this just a little bit in the skillet with our onions, our garlic, and our ginger. Doesn't that sound delicious? Ginger, garlic. And then we're gonna place all of this in the blender with a little lime juice and some honey, and it is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be perfect for our taco salad. You could use this on the tacos that we're gonna make. It's gonna be good. And we're also gonna do, it calls for habanero peppers, but of course the grocery store didn't have any today. So we are going to use a jalapeno, but when you get your recipe, try and get you a good habanero. You could even use the, you could use the spice blend habanero and then if not you can replace it with the pepper of your choice today we're going to use the jalapenos 
because we do want this to have a little heat to it. Okay, so we're just chopping this up. Got that all done. We're gonna chop up a little more onion. Let's just move this out of our way. So we're gonna chop up some onion. And then we're gonna chop up a little bit of our garlic. Okay. And this doesn't have to be super small because remember all of this is gonna go into a blender. Especially if you have a high power blender, you really won't have to worry about it. Okay, put that over there. Let's do our garlic. So we're gonna do about a teaspoon of garlic. We're just gonna chop this up a little bit. That top part. Okay. That should be about a teaspoon of garlic. And then we're gonna do some ginger and our pepper. So we're gonna do like about a tablespoon of ginger and we're just gonna cut this skin off. Let me use my smaller paring knife here. Put this one down. Let's be safe. I don't have time to be cutting off any fingers in here today. I want to go home with all my fingers. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna cut all this skin off and we're just gonna chop this up small too and this will all blend down in the blender. So this is gonna be yummy. So yeah, this should be plenty. This is like a little bit over like thumb size. And this also will be in your recipe so you don't have to worry. I'm not really measuring right now. Just going for what I know. But we're going to get this all in the skillet with a tiny bit of avocado oil. Okay, we got our garlic, our onions. Let's do our pepper. Hab um, not habanero, but calls for habanero. We're gonna use the actual jalapeno. And if you leave the seeds and the ribs in, then it's gonna be really, really hot. So it's up to you whether you want your sauce to be really spicy. I'm gonna leave some seeds and I'm gonna leave a little bit of the ribs because I want a little kick. Why not? Our taco salad isn't really hot or anything. I'm gonna use this other knife. So why not add a little heat with our sauce? And you can always just add a little bit of sauce to your taco salad if you don't want it to be too spicy. Okay, and then your taco salad you can actually have with another dressing of your choice. I eat a lot of vinaigrettes at home. I make them, they're super quick and easy. So like a red wine vinaigrette, a balsamic vinaigrette would be amazing. Um, if you don't wanna make the sauce, any of those. And if you guys have my book, um, it definitely has some recipes in there for dressing, some really, really good ones. So you could use any of those dressings to go along with this taco salad. Okay, so we're gonna put a little oil over here in our pan. Not a lot of oil, like about a tablespoon. And we are going to add our onions, our garlic, and our jalapenos first with the ginger. And we're gonna get this going. See if I can scoop this up and get this over here. Skills, that's what you call skills right there. <laughs> Once you've been in this kitchen as long as I have with two children and a husband, your skill level is up there. So I just scoop the rest of this over there. And we'll let this cook a little bit before we add our mango. We'll grab a spoon with this. And we're just gonna let this cook down just a little bit. And this is gonna be amazing. So I used half of the jalapeno um, if you want more heat, you can use more. So this, the recipe you're gonna get, we're doing like a half of the regular size recipe. So this one, you're gonna have enough to save some, put it in a nice glass jar and have it for the week. So we'll just let that cook a little bit. And then we're gonna add our mango. And while we're letting that cook down a little bit, let's get started on our beans. So I just have some regular black beans here. 
that I made the other day with some cumin, some onion, garlic, some green bell pepper. We're just gonna add these to the pot in the back. And we're gonna get a potato smasher and we're gonna smash those down. And if you don't have a potato smasher, you can always use a fork. Make it easy on yourself. Okay, check this. Stir this around a little bit. So yeah, I love a good taco. Get creative with the fillings you use in your tacos also. Turn that down just a little bit. Perfect. Let's add our mangoes. Okay. And this is a large mango. We chopped up all of our mango because we want a nice amount of sauce to put on our tacos and on our taco salad. Okay, we're gonna have mango margaritas also today. It's gonna be so yummy. Okay, put that in there. Scoop that. And we're just gonna let this cook down just a little bit. Won't take long, just like about two or three minutes. And then we're gonna add this all to the blender with a little lime juice, honey, and it is gonna blend all up together. We don't want our garlic to burn, so let's turn this down just a little bit. We don't want it to get bitter. Okay, just a few minutes here. And since our beans are already basically seasoned with the onion, the bell pepper that we cooked the other day, we are gonna just add a little bit of our Mexican blend just to spice it up a little bit. Perfect. And we'll start heating those up and then we'll start smashing those down. This is cooked enough. So we're gonna get this over to the blender. Let's grab us a towel here so we don't burn ourselves up. Cause I know about that. So let's get this over here. <laughs> yeah, that looks really good already. Yummy. Can't wait to have some of this sauce. Okay. Have that in there. Now we're gonna put in our honey. Ooh, ooh. Have our honey. This is some raw honey. We're gonna put in, we're gonna put in some lime juice. Let me grab some of our limes. One nice, and we got our lime juice. Let's see, make sure we have, and some salt to taste. And anything else? Salt. Okay, let's get over here to this blender. And we got our limes. So juice of one lime. Squeeze that in there. And this one. I'm gonna balance it out with a little honey. Not too sweet. This will probably be like about two teaspoons. Okay. A little salt. And we can always check the flavor after if we need anything else or more of anything. So let's put this lid on here. And let's blend this up. Yeah, let's try this out and see if we need anything else. It looks super yummy. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mmm. Nice and spicy. Yummy. Okay, we're gonna add a little more lime juice. A little more lime juice. Squeeze all the lime out of there. And then we're gonna take a little water also and just loosen this up just a little bit. Okay guys, we're gonna loosen this up just a little bit. It's a little thick. We're just gonna add a little bit of water and you can do the same at home. 
Just add a little bit at a time because you don't want it to get too watery. I added a little more lime juice and just a little more salt too. Okay. The sweetness is already there from the limes. I'm sorry, from the mango, so we didn't need any more honey. Yeah, let's see. That power. There we go. All right, that should be perfect now. Put all our sauce in there. I'm gonna be leaving any of our sauce out. Okay, yeah, and that looks great. It looks really amazing. We're going to pour this in here. And when everything's ready, we're going to use this sauce. Yum. Absolutely delicious. Okay. So now we can get started on our black bean tacos. Our mango sauce is ready. We'll just put this over here. And we'll dress our tacos and our taco salad with that. So let's just make sure our pan is clean over here. So we're gonna put our taco shells in here. And with your taco shells, you could actually use the same ones. You could use corn shells. These are gluten-free, not grain-free, but gluten-free. And you could actually use either any of these actually. And you could use the chickpea flour or they have an almond flour also. So any of those would be perfect for your tacos. And with your tacos, you could actually use any type of bean you wanted. These were already cooked. I cooked them in a slow cooker all day earlier this week. But if you didn't have time to do that, you could actually do a can of beans. Get organic beans. Like I said, you could do pinto beans. You could do red beans, even lentils. So lentils cook fast. You could cook those same day. You don't even have to soak them if you don't have time to. So I'm just smashing these down with a fork. If you have a potato smasher, definitely use that. It'll be a lot easier. So I'm just gonna smash these down nice and good and leave a little texture so some of the beans are still gonna be whole, just so you have a little texture with your taco. And I think I said it earlier, but you could add mushrooms to this. You could saute some mushrooms and add it if you wanted your tacos just to be a little meatier. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna turn that on low and let that cook down until that's ready. It's not gonna take long. We're just basically rewarming the beans. Now we're gonna cook our shells and we're just gonna put a little avocado oil, super simple. Just coat the bottom enough for your shell to fry in. So we're going to do that. Okay, like that. And then let's get a couple of napkins to drain our shells once they're done, drain the grease off. Okay. And we're going to fry these up, let that heat up. And again, we're going to dress our tacos with different toppings. You can do spinach instead of regular lettuce. You could do collards if you wanted to. Shave them up really, really small. We're gonna do a little red cabbage and we're gonna do some arugula. Okay. As far as our greens are concerned, we're gonna do some green onions. I mean, with tacos, you can get so creative. There's a million different things that you can use. And this is like, I like, I love doing the plant-based tacos because it's such an easy way for people who are new to plant-based to start. You know, let's keep it simple, not too complicated. We want you to be encouraged to keep up with this new lifestyle and really start to include more plant-based foods into your life. Or if you're just fully trying to go plant-based or vegan. So we're gonna make this easy. And I'm just cutting this really thin so we can put this in our taco shells. I love red cabbage. It's really good on tacos, sandwiches, wraps, anything like that. If you have a bowl, I like to add it to my different types of bowls that I make just for the crunch and the color. I mean, come on, it's, the color's amazing. How could you not love it? 
Okay, let's just check on our oil over here. It's getting hot, almost there. So we're definitely gonna add the cabbage. We're gonna add some of our arugula and our spinach. And then we're gonna take a few of these green onions also. And we're gonna add those. Those are gonna be nice. We're gonna add some cilantro. So these are already washed. We're just gonna cut these up and we'll add these. Any onions that you would like, you could definitely add. Let's check on our oil for our shells. Okay, and then these shells, you can do either corn or like I said, one of the other grain-free, gluten-free options. And you don't have to fry them. You could just heat them in a warm pan and eat them like that if you'd like. Let's get another one, let's get two of these. Okay, so we're just gonna put our shell in there and let that fry up on one side and we're gonna fold that over. This will only take a few minutes. So yeah, this is like an American staple tacos. Like we gotta have it, right? We didn't invent it, but we love them. So let's see. And you know, we're known for like putting anything into a taco shell. I don't know about you guys, but I don't just put, you know, when I was eating top, um, ground turkey and stuff like that. Still eat a little chicken, I still eat fish. So I definitely add those to my tacos. Um, but yeah, you can just get so creative with a taco. So we're just gonna let that shell cook for a minute. I'm gonna make sure we have all our toppings over here. We have our cheese. We're gonna use one of these little red radishes. Let's rinse this off. And definitely some of our little tomatoes also. And so we're just gonna leave that skin on, slice these nice and thin. I don't know about you, but when I go to like one of those delicious, original like Mexican taco places and they have the pickled radishes and pickled cabbage to go onto your tacos, so good. So we'll definitely be doing some pickling on this show. I love pickled vegetables for sandwiches and wraps and different things like that. So good. Put it for a topping on a bowl. Nothing like a pickled vegetable, not to mention um, anything fermented or anything like that is really good for the gut. So great gut health. So always think about, you know, when you're eating, you want it to be good, but you also want it to be beneficial to the body at the same time. So we're just going to move that out of the way. Okay. And this shell is looking good. And you just do your shells like you like. If you want them to be extra crispy, you can actually leave them in there for a little bit longer. I like mine's kind of soft, kind of crispy. You just blot this a little bit to get some of the extra oil off. Okay. This would be great. Our beans are done, they're ready. So all we're gonna have to do is plate everything and top it with our sauce. We'll be right back. Okay guys, let's top these tacos. Let's put our beans in. We'll bring our pot over here. Our beans are still nice and warm. I tasted them, they're delicious. They're a little spicy. Put a little of the beans inside. And we'll just spread that in there. And then after that, we're gonna top these. Smells amazing. Well, they used to call it back in the day on Emerald Live, smell -a vision If you could only smell this, smells delicious. Alrighty. One, two. And our last one here. Top these. Put some of that mango sauce on here. And Please, your next Taco Tuesday, you will be the rave of the town. Let's wipe off our board, because you know I want it pretty and nice and neat. Okay, so you could actually set this up and you could actually have like a taco little space where you have everything set out for everyone to dress their own tacos. All right. So let's start. We're gonna add a little bit of our greens 
Don't forget the greens. Easy way to get in your greens for the day. We got arugula and we have spinach. Okay, just kind of pile that on. Make sure you're getting enough in there. Get your nutrients and your vitamins for the day. And have your taco at the same time. Let's move this pot out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna put a little of this pretty cabbage. I mean, that looks gorgeous already. You don't even need anything else. Pretty purple cabbage, spinach and arugula. Yum, it's gonna be crunchy and delicious. We're going to add a little bit of our radish. Let's put some radish in there, guys. Come on, don't tell me that you don't wanna make these tacos because this looks like the bomb. Okay, and then let's add some of our tomatoes. Come on now. We're gonna put some of these pretty yellow tomatoes on here. Yeah, I'm fresh out of the garden. Let's go. It's into the summer, tomato season will be over in a little bit, so enjoy all the tomatoes while you can, while they have that sweet, delicious, natural, in-season flavor. And we're also going to add some cheese, a little bit of our vegan cheese here. Yummy. Don't have to worry about your tummy hurting after eating this cheese. This is dairy-free. So put that on there. Some green onions. And of course, we cannot leave out the avocado. Now, if you don't like vegan cheese, and a lot of people don't, cheese, then you could always replace it with avocado, or you can do both. You can do avocado, and you can do the cheese. I like to do both. Sometimes I'll just eat the avocado, depending on the day. So pal, you some avocado on top of there. You guys, this is gonna be so good. All right. Okay. Put another little piece on this one. That looks amazing. Grab my handy dandy towel over here. And all we need to do is add some of this amazing salsa, this mango habanero, it's jalapeno today because we didn't have the habanero salsa. And we are ready to grub. Check this out, you guys. A little bit of this sauce. Oh, that's it right there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you guys can dress the rest of these and enjoy your Taco Tuesday. All right, guys, we gotta do these margaritas, mango margaritas we're gonna do, and we're gonna make ours a little healthy. We're gonna add a little bit of this beauty blend from Unicorn Superfoods. And this one has blueberry, cranberry, beetroot, strawberry, hibiscus, it's awesome. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. We're gonna use our handy dandy blend jet blender. If you guys don't have one of these, get one. They're portable. You can take them wherever you go. If you need to make you a smoothie or a margarita on the go, you can. So let's start off with a little frozen mango so we don't have to add ice. We're just gonna use this frozen mango. Put a little bit of this in here, probably like about a cup. I think that's gonna be enough. Don't put too much. And we're gonna add a little bit of the beauty blend. And this is gonna turn it like a really pretty reddish pinkish color. We'll see what it looks like. It's about a tablespoon of that. And we're gonna add a little gave for sweetness. Uh-oh. And then of course, if you wanted to add a little tequila, you could. We're gonna use a little coconut water. And this one is pulp free. 
So we're going to add a little coconut water here, fill this up. This is going to look really pretty. Okay, and that's going to be it. Let's put our top on. This is going to be perfect for our Taco Tuesday. And let's blend. Oh, let's see what's happening here. It's getting caught up, probably because we got a lot going on. Let's try it again. There we go. And we're blending. Amazing. Portable blender, you guys. Awesome. We have these at the juice bar. Come by, pick one up. All right, let's check it out. And it's perfect. Let's get our cute little margarita glasses. So cute. You could put a little salt around these if you wanted to, or sugar. We're gonna pour a little in this one. This is so perfect for Taco Tuesday. And we are so ready for our tacos. This tops it off, you guys. This officially makes it Taco Tuesday. Let's taste it. Oh my God, you guys, it's so refreshing. Just sweet enough. You guys, Taco Tuesday. Get it started at your house. See you guys next time.